We're at Concrete Jungle 2013. Tommy D in the house, ConcreteJungle.com. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube. Ba, 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 ba. This is the ConcreteJungle.com. Tommy D here. And I got Joel Diaz, uh, Tim, Tim Bradley Jr.'s trainer. How's it going, Joel? It's going good, thank you. So yesterday was the press conference. Uh, everything went, went, went smooth? Everything went good. It was, uh, everything was smooth. Uh, media was there. Um, everything was nice and calm. So, uh, the guy, how did this guy come about? Because I actually heard that he was going to fight Rios uh, uh, coming up, and now that I heard he gets the um, Tim Bradley call. I don't know, man. Um, I don't know. Uh, Tim has been um, been waiting for a date, and uh, I mean he had a date, but he didn't have an opponent. And then uh, he was offered a Mont Peterson um, for December. And you know, at the time, you know, he comes from fighting Manny Pacquiao, and you know, I mean, at the time we understand, you know, hey, after the Pacquiao fight, you know, I mean, we had to instead of celebrate a victory, you know, we had to hide from people. You know, we had to. You know, we had to hide and isolate, and you know, and 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 we look back and say, what the, what do we do wrong? You know, I mean, we just fought. I mean, but I mean, I mean, it's just it's just a damn sport, you know. It's just a damn sport, and we gotta move on. We gotta we gotta avoid avoid all the adversities and you know negative 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 comments around us. So you know, when uh, Lamont Peterson was offered, you know, Timothy said, okay, well, why Lamont Peterson? I just come from fighting Manny Pacquiao, you know, but, I mean, at the point, I mean, we don't understand, and now we do. Um, I mean, we we didn't take the Lamont Peterson fight, so uh, there was nobody out, there was nobody out. I mean, there is a lot of opponents, there's a lot of opponents, don't get me wrong, for Bradley, but, I mean, it's just a matter of the, the business part, you know, they need to work their, they need to work their, their business and, and make fights happen, and they're not doing it. So I guess uh, Ruslan Provanikov is the only guy out there that that Tim can can take on right now. So I mean, we just gotta get Tim back in the ring and and keep him busy. <laughs> so just the more people he 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 beats, is, uh, uh, hopefully we'll give him the more uh, fans and the more uh, more people who want to see him, right? Yeah, you know, unfortunately that kid, I don't think he'll ever have a lot of fans. You know, I mean, he could be. Uh, ten-time world champion, and he's never gonna get the credit. You always have the, you always have that people. You know that they're always, you know, throwing negative comments and stuff. But you know what? We're gonna keep doing what we do. We're gonna keep training. We're gonna keep fighting. And uh, <clears throat> whoever gets in that ring with Bradley, you know, it's, I mean, I know. I I told Tim. I said, Tim, if this is this is the way it is, when you're undefeated and you're a champion, imagine the day you lose. So just be ready. If one day, you know, you have a, a bad day, you lose a fight, remember, might as well just move on and do something else because, I mean, this business is just like that, you know? The, the boxing sport itself is a beautiful sport, but the business is a piece of shit business, you know? And we gotta, we gotta move on. We do gotta move on. And right now he's undefeated, he's a champion, and, you know, he has to stay, he has to stay busy. He has to, you know, keep beating everybody that, that, that he fights. Right. Your DJ has only just begun.